When you send an email, the network will break that email down into different parts. These parts are called packets and pretty much everything you do on the internet involves packets in one way or another. When you open YouTube to watch this video, the YouTube page was received as a series of packets sent to your computer by YouTube server. This beautiful video you're currently watching is also broken down into a series of packets. So uh, what actually is a packet then? And what purpose does it have? Packets are units of data and pretty much everything on the internet is broken down into units of data. As you're watching this video, the video is probably not fully loaded yet, but as more packets are received, the more of the video's buffer bar is loaded. And together, these packets are building up the video, as you're watching. So as you can probably imagine, if everything had just been one big piece of data, everything would take such a long time to load. Imagine if you wanted to watch a 1 hour YouTube video in 4K, but you had to download the entire video before you could watch it? Ugh, no. That's why it's split up into packets, aka small chunks of data. Think of a packet like a package sent to you when you order something online. When you order something, you need to have an address so that the package knows where it is to be sent. The same goes for packets on the internet, where each packet is labeled with your IP address as well as the sender's IP address. Packets also consist of a certain size in bytes, also known as the payload. And the payload is usually around 1500 bytes per packet. So if you watch a 40 megabyte YouTube video, that video is broken down into about 27,000 packets sent to your computer from YouTube server. So as you're watching this video, the video is broken down into a series of packets, which are labeled with your computer's IP address as well as YouTube's IP address. So yes, data packets are essentially the basic unit of communication over the entire internet.